Hi to everybody. Um, I'm really happy to represent ICLEI today, uh, along with my colleagues from the ICLEI World Secretariat and our circular development team, uh, Sir um, Magash Naidu and Karis Hoffman are here as well. Um, so as you said, I focus on the perspective of local governments. Um, and in my vision, there are two aspects that I kind of um, would like to highlight. One is the um, fair and just distribution of space. And the second one is, um, as we are the circuit development team, uh, the different um, parts of the construction cycle. So um, in our vision, cities will consist of a variety of green and sustainable buildings um, that are designed to serve all parts of local po populations and strengthen social inclusion. Local governments act as enablers um, for local market landscapes which with diverse enterprises that engage in different aspects of the construction cycle, starting from equitable building design to re um, rehabilitation of buildings, um, strategic deconstruction with salvaging building materials, and then new construction that use those locally sourced materials, but also um, in addition, green materials and renewable resources. Um, employers offer in that vision uh, fair working conditions and opportunities for local residents with different skill levels. Um, we have heard about that before. And local governments support these employment standards by providing enabling conditions for SMEs, corporation platforms, and social enterprises. Um, to make this vision a reality, um, I just brought three uh, concrete steps um, that we would like to highlight from our side. The first is that municipal programs should consider circularity and social equity hand in hand to open opportunities for local residents. Um, this can achieve by um, leveraging related frameworks and we have to offer from ICLEI side the Circular Cities Actions Framework, which provides five complementary strategies for urban circularity and also the Urban Transitions Alliance Equity Framework that supports access participation, something we also have heard before, and opportunities in terms of training and employment opportunities for all parts of the population. And these frameworks enable local governments to set context-specific priorities um, towards the just transition. Secondly, to ensure that change is happening across the board, standards are needed that not only consider green and low emission, uh, construction, but also diversity in employment and fair working conditions. We heard about that also before. Um, and for local governments, tools like socially responsible public procurement and social public private partnerships um, can enable to address gaps in that regard. And the third point that I would like to highlight is uh, that we all need strong partnerships. So it's really great to have, you know, that opportunity here and that environment to see uh, such a diversity of uh, actors present. I think that is really wonderful. And these actors um, can then collaborate towards the big goals that we are all envisioning here by bringing the unique strength uh, to the table of all of, of us um, at our organizations. Um, to support local governments in the just transition, we as EPA are actively looking for partners to jointly scale current work and engage in new activities that focus on the gaps that we just mentioned. Our current institutional process of developing a theory of change for our circular development program is highlighting or bringing entry points for enabling circular um, transitions, but also provides opportunities uh, to establish such new partnerships. So maybe over time and in the discussions, we can find you know, points to connect and be very um, happy to see where we can collaborate with um, all of the great organizations that are present today.